these are the populations that really can be in a span of the lifespan. We can have a young adult, an older adult in to understand and educate my oncology nurses, colleagues, and also to be in the position to educate our patients is imperative to the optimal patient care. Um, so we, we're gonna go ahead and start with to, talking about educations and promoting health literacy in GI cancer. Um, we're going to a little bit more focus on colorectal rather than general term of the GI cancers, if that's okay uh, with you. Um, so colorectal, when we reported statistically in a literature for National Cancer Institute, American Cancer um, Society, um, they're kind of lumps up the statistic basically uh, with the colon and rectal. And one of the, um, it is still considered as a third um Occurrence that happening again. Um, this has not been changed uh, for quite a while, which that can be a good news because that means that we kind of have the steady, um, stable of the diseases and the care that we provide for the patients. And so it has not gone any higher as far as the incidence goes. However, it has not gone lower either. And that could be different uh, multifaceted factors. Uh, one of the target populations that actually um, you hear the scholars and mentors and different institutions have a different clinical trials are the incidence of the colorectal in the younger adult, basically. And that's referred to the individuals below age of 50. Um, that um, young um, age is kind of steadily on a rise if you refer to the liter literature. Uh, and the most of the time they present with the more advanced diseases. Again, uh, when you review the literature uh, of these uh, patients through the NCI, through the different reliable resources. And what does that mean for oncology nurses? Um, it is extremely important to empower these patients to make it um, educated decision with the prognosis of their um, outcomes of their diseases. They have to endure, you know, it's not uncommon for this population to just start at family and kind of like on a career path. And it's kind of get discouraging to them when they get diagnosed. Again, uh, they may not even think about the colorectal cancers on their journey of their lifespan. And it's extremely important to educate public about early colonoscopy age that has been recommended now at age of 45. Also to educate our, our oncology nurses to see how do we resources we can provide to these patients so there is no financial toxicity and if there is, how can they make a decision uh, with the path of their family, careers, and how to make the decision about the outcomes, if they have any controls over that. Um, again, um, health literacy, it's an important component. There are different clinical trials that may be available for this population. Um, there might be um, different um, regimen, um, mixtures of the different chemo agents. Um, we, we know about EGFR um, that's existing in this regimen. What are the side effects and will, which that can lead to the uh, more discussion about the self image and um, this experience of complications from the um, regimen itself. So what does that mean as far as providing the health literacy tool to these patients? Um, as we know, again, health literacy, we talk about how to want to attain information, process it, putting these building blocks to it and make an educated decision. Um, that means most of the regimen might require every two weeks coming to the clinic, to the infusion clinic that takes away from their job, from their family um, to sit in an infusion chair for four or five hours to receive it. And then for the next couple of days um, to experience uh, side effects such as nausea, vomiting. So be able to educate the patients on the symptom management uh, from this regimen. Uh, they may have some GI uh, uncomfortable and uh, 
experiencing such as diarrhea, um, to educate the patients how to take the anti-diarrhea medication to manage the uh, side effect. So all the tools that there are, uh, we need to provide these patients with those information.